Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I dive into the lesson, I'd like to give our honor and our glory to the Most High God, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, by Kwakadash, double honor to the great master, other apostles, will teach and rule well for the sincere Akim that's out there, pushing this truth and sincerity, keep doing so, and for the sincere Akwathim that's out there, reverence to their husband, being a pillar of rest, keep doing so, okay? And a holy, and a holy shalom to the hopeful elect that scattered abroad across the four corners of this world, okay? Keep enduring. Okay, so this lesson is titled that the Lord is not coming back to send peace upon this world, okay? So without further ado, it's going well, the reason why I'm going over this is because a lot of our people think the Lord is coming back to give different uh to give flowers, to give hugs, and give you no know, all matter of peace. You know, but if you read these scriptures, you read you read the scriptures, man, the Lord tells you that He's not coming back to send peace upon the earth. He's coming to send, He's coming to send uh, a sword, you know. He even tells you that he's not coming back with, he ain't coming back with peace. You know, he coming back with fire. You know, it, it, this, this, this truth is not to be tried. This truth is not to be taught to prosper. You know, because these churches, these harlot houses, they teach prosperity. You know, when we out there on the highways and byways and the brothers that do the videos and do the things that's required, hey, they teach what's coming to this place. You know, nothing but destruction and nothing but calamities, you know, coming to this wicked kingdom. Okay. So, what I further do is go ahead and get into Matthew chapter 10 and verse 34, okay? This is Matthew chapter 10 and verse 34, and it says, Think not that I am come to send peace on the earth. I am, I came not to send peace, but a sword, okay? So, that right there is letting you know that he's not coming to send peace. You know, I can close the script. I close the Bible up and that's the end of the lesson. But no, this is the whole point. He's not coming back to send peace upon the earth. He's coming back to send a sword. You know, what you do with a sword, you come to uh, you come to destroy things with the sword. OK, but ultimately, this is talking about the Lord coming to make division, set a man against variance against his Gets his uh, mother and his gets mother and his, uh, daughter and his father and uh, son, you know. But the Lord telling you He's not coming back to send peace, you know. We 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 warning y'all to let y'all know that hey, the Lord is coming back with fear with uh, furies of fire, you know. He's coming back to destroy things, you know. He's not coming back to give you a bouquet of flowers and tell you here you go, have a good job, you know. He's not coming back to do that. He's not coming back to save everybody, okay. Let's go ahead and go into Zechariah. No, let's go into Isaiah chapter 66. You know, further proving that the Lord not coming back to uh, bring peace upon the earth. Okay. I'm going I'm to go to 63 then go to 66. And it says, 63, verse 61, it says, Who is that coming from Edom and dyed garments from Bozerah, that this that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the Greatness of his strength, I speak in righteousness and mighty to save. Wherefore art thou art thou red in thy apparel and thy garments like him that treadeth in wine fat? I had tried in the wine press alone, and of the people there was none of none with me, for I would plead with them in my anger and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be a sprinkle upon my garments, and I will stain all my remnant. Okay, so hey, that's the Lord letting you know he come back to kill people, man. You know, he coming back with the whole host of whole host of heaven, the angels, you know, he going to have the angels on the right hand side and the left hand side coming back to destroy this place, man. And he going to be leading it. He going to be leading that charge, you know, with the 144K as well. You know, he going to lead that charge. He going to lead that. OK, it says he trying the wine press alone, as in when you stump on grapes, you know. All that, all that, all the, the blood of them grapes, you know, if it's red, you know, the red grapes, you know, it get on your garment and it's like red, just like this, you know, it's, it's like, imagine this stain across his whole garment. You know, that's what he's talking about. You know, he's going to be killing a lot of people. He's going to be slicing and dicing a lot of people, you know, burning a lot of people up, you know, verse four. And it says, for the day of vengeance in my heart. And the year of my redeemed has come. So that's saying, he's saying the day of vengeance is in my heart. What is vengeance? You want to revenge something. You want to get your payback. You know, did not our people hang him? Did not our people persecute him too? Did not Esau Edom persecute him? He's coming back to render his anger. Okay. 
He's coming back for vengeance. He's coming for payback, okay? Ultimately, re to redeem the lost sheep of Israel, to uh, to save his people, okay? The remnant, two, I mean, the remnant of one-third of the Israelites, okay? Men, children, and women, okay? He's coming back to redeem us. You know, Lord willing, out of one Rathazad, that we part of that number, you know, and you brothers that's in sincere and true, you know, he's coming back to save us, okay? Lord willing, out of one Rathazad, okay? Let's go ahead and get Isaiah chapter 66. Uh, bear with me. Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 14, no, the 15 through 17. And it says, For behold, Yahweh will come. For behold, Yahweh Shem Yahshah will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebukes with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will he, the will Yahweh or Yahweh Shem Yahshah plead with all flesh, then the slain of Yahweh shall be many. Another scripture proving that the Lord is not coming back to make peace. He's coming back to he's coming back to kill, man. You know, this is strike fear to you, but like, okay, let me get my stuff together so I don't get killed by Yahweh Shem Yahshah, you know? Because he's coming back and he says, and Yahweh shall plead with all flesh. And it says, the slain of Yahweh shall be many. So the Lord going to have a lot of bodies, man. He going to have more bodies than David, you know? He going to have a lot of bodies under his belt in pure righteousness, though. He's coming back to kill a lot of Israelites, two-thirds of Israel. And the Lord said we are like the sand of the sea. That's a lot of Israelites that's going to get killed, man, you know? And we scatter abroad, man. That's going to be a lot of Israelites getting put to death, man. You can't even number the sand of the sea.